I would like to share with you today how to utilize the spotlight effect. And here's what I'm talking about. So many times presenters, myself included, um, have to present data. And whether that's to adult learners or to students, a lot of times we present data like this. And even if I tell you, hey, I want you to look closely at um, cake in 2012, which is the red line, it is gonna take your eyes a while to get over there. Or sometimes we present like this. This is a lot of information on one slide. Again, another example, this is too much. And often our audience, whether it's adults or students, can't follow along with this. And if our goal is to point something out, we need to make that as easy as possible for our students or our adult learners. So I like to use the spotlight effect. And here's what that looks like. Watch as I go to the next slide, I'm spotlighting in. If I wanted my audience to, hey, I need everybody to go to this bit.ly link, bit.ly slash MA spotlight. I'm gonna have people asking neighbors, where does she want us to go? What does she want us to do? Because there's other words on this screen. But if I highlight it and I darken the rest of the screen, people know exactly what to focus in on. So here's, and you can also do that with uh, data. So here is uh, that same data and I want you to focus in on 2012 and I can darken everything else and bring the attention right on what I want you to focus on. So let me escape out and show you exactly how I did this. First of all, I crafted the slide I wanted. This is what I want it to look like. Now that I'm ready to put that spotlight effect in place, here's what I do. I'm gonna go to file, download, and I'm gonna download it, the current slide as a PNG. On my computer, that's gonna slide over to this bottom corner. I'm gonna copy it to clipboard, I'm gonna to go to a blank slide and paste it in. Control V, I pasted that in. Now it doesn't quite fit, so I'm gonna make it fit the entire screen. Excuse me, the entire slide. Once it does, when I go from one slide to the next, it should look exactly the same. I'm going back and forth. Now, I'm gonna paste it in one more time. So this is just that, you can see, this is the image of the slide. I'm gonna paste it in one more time. So now I've got two pictures of the same, of that slide. I'm gonna center it again make sure that it takes up the whole slide. So now I've got two right on top of each other. Now here's where the magic comes in. I'm gonna crop this one on top so that it's showing exactly what I want to spotlight. So I'm wanting to spotlight that link that I want everyone to go to. So I'm cropping the image so only the bit.ly link is showing because that's where I want my participants to go. Now when I click off of this, it looks like I did nothing but now I've got this tiny on top of this. Now I'm gonna click the bigger image and go to format options. And I want you to go to adjustments and we're gonna to go to the brightness. I like to take the brightness down to about 75%. If you go all the way down to 100%, you get black. I don't want it to be totally black in the background. I want people to see that background image is there, but I've highlighted, I've spotlighted what I want my audience's focus to be on. Um, so then if I go into presentation mode, you'll see it goes from this to this. In order to get it to fade in like mine did in my example, you can do a two finger click or right click over here on the slide thumbnail and say change transition. And I can change that transition from no transition to dissolve. And if I play that, you'll see what that looks like it just kind of fades that spotlight on. I love that. Hope this is useful to you and that you are able to really help focus in your learners, whether they're adult learners or student learners in on exactly what you want them to see using the spotlight effect.